Following rehearsals, the cast tried its production on select audiences in a few nights of so-called previews. It's a chance for them to work out the bugs with a live audience. But there's nothing like the excitement of the real opening night. Let's take a look. What began with an empty stage and a vision all comes down to opening night. And ready or not, the first rise of the curtain is little more than an hour away. Nine, 10, 11, 12. 14. Final checks and finishing touches fill the time while anticipation fills the air. I love opening nights. I'm one of those people that really, really loves opening nights. Tapping in the heels for the first time tonight, so that'll be a little interesting, but we'll see how that goes. In the dressing rooms, wigs are waiting, warm-ups are underway, costumes are pressed and hung on organized racks. Traditional opening night bouquets from well-wishers warm the room. They're all wonderful performers, and I know that they're going to get through with flying colors tonight. Stage makeup glides on, and time moves on too. The anticipation is there, but the jitters seem absent. A flashback to rehearsals when choreographer Kitty Skillman Hilzebeck told us that opening night doesn't make her nervous as long as she's on stage. Most of the numbers that we said already are completely clean and I think ready for performance. So, um, so I think I'm going to be pretty calm. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> Ask me opening night. We did. I'm not nervous, no. I probably had too much sugar from all that cake. So if I'm jumpy, it's from the coffee and the sugar, not from nerves. For producer-director Rod Lansbury, opening night is a different story. I have to admit, it's my least favorite element of the entire process because as I talked to the actors this afternoon, there's probably nothing worse than sitting in the audience knowing there's nothing you can do if anything doesn't work. But now's the time, says Rod, to turn the show over to the actors and fate. He'll be watching from the audience tonight, along with the show patrons gathering in the lobby, shaking off the cold chill of the evening, ready to have their hearts warmed by the stage. Tickets in hand, a chance to mingle with neighbors and old friends. Then it's time to find their seats. If you go through the left door, you're right on that aisle. A full house on opening night is always fun. While theater goers get settled, chit, chit, chit. backstage, the finishing touches are calmly chit, chit, and routinely chit, chit, carried out. Mics checked and delivered to the actors, and the moment arrives. Bonsoir! Bonsoir! I'm the first one on stage. I really want to make sure that I said it with a beautiful tone. Welcome to the 15th edition of our world famous review, starring the one and only Zaza and featuring the notorious and dangerous Kajels. For an actor, it's a dream come true to do a role like this. And as promised, the dance scenes with the Kajels wow the audiences with their energy. They tell the story so well. I mean, they, they bring the whole story together. It's a family trying to operate and do what everybody else does. So that connection of watching the son come home with the, the fiancé and what does the family think. Deputy General of the TFM! Here to meet you. You're insane! We just kind of put it in a different place with it being a drag show at the same time. As actors, we do that all the time. We search for other, other worlds and really trying to keep ourselves open to what other people do, whether we agree with it or not. And you learn. I must say, I, uh, I like the outfit, Claudine, but what is it you've dressed for? Dressed to serve your every need. Zeus for me. Zat for you. And Zeus for your papa. Papa always gets the best part. Intermission revealed a delighted audience. Oh, I think it's great. I, I enjoy the music, and I can't believe these are guys. <laughs> right. I was not aware of the story, so this is a real surprise, but a delightful one. Well, I think they have some of the best singers that you could uh, group together. A couple of those people got very, very fine voices. And it's really hard to tell um, who's male and who's female, actually. Yeah. 
I hope we get to see a little more tap in the second half, but they're pretty good. It's pretty amazing. As for Lansbury? Uh, I'm breathing again, so I think it's going all right. <laughs> no, it's actually, it's great. I mean, we have a wonderful audience tonight. Costume designer Nicole Harrison is watching opening night from the audience, too. Nothing has fallen apart or popped off when it wasn't supposed to, so we're, we're doing all right so far, knock on wood. With Lacage, apparently no need to knock on wood. From auditions to costumes, sets and rehearsals, professionalism and a few weeks of hard work make it all happen. I think the show is fabulous. It's the crowd is loving every moment of it. The performers are dynamic, and this is a great night for Arvada and for the Arvada Center.